do a quick review of where we were yesterday about our combining and separating sentences. So yesterday we wrote on our papers this picture, right? Complete. We did a Yes, we did. You should have written it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Complete sentences on both sides, right? You have a sentence over here uh -huh. and a sentence over here. We said that there were some things that you could put in the middle. Because what's it like when you try to combine it with a comma? Does that work? When you put a comma between two sentences? No, 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 no. A comma's too weak. Remember we gave the example yesterday about trying to glue a chair together? Yeah. It might hold its shape for a little bit, but what's going to happen when Zigor sits in it? It's going to break. It's going to break. So we can't do that to these. So we said yesterday we have three things that can go between a sentence on one side and a sentence on the other. What were those three things? Give me one, Laura. Period. A period. So you should have written here a period. Give me one more. Um, semicolon. A semicolon. Good work. And? Okay, comma. Connector. Which we talked yesterday about having a fancy word for as a coordinating conjunction, but you can call it a comma connector in my class. Now. I hear Waco over here saying something about fanboys. 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 We talked yesterday, just as a quick review, about the fanboys, which are your comma connectors. Okay? So, let's do a quick review of our fanboys, which you should already have written on your paper right now. Yeah. What is the F in fanboys? Four. 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 No, very many of you speaking right now. How about the A? And. and. Oh. How about the N? No. Nor. Nor. How about the B? But. but. Oh. Or. Yes. Why? Yes. yes. And so. Okay. It's so so. So we moved on to part two, correct? Yeah. Correct. All right, let's look at part two and see what we had. What we were doing in part two yesterday. But we finished. Yes, we did. I know. I want to quickly review it. What we were doing in part two yesterday was basically just identifying where the complete sentences were. So we looked at this and we said, John didn't show up for his math test. Boom. One sentence. He didn't notify the teacher. Boom. Sentence number two. Okay? Which is what we did. We now moved down to part three. And in part three, we saw some of those same exact sentences. So let's look at part three more carefully. Now, the interesting thing about part three is that it tells us we have to either separate them or combine them. And you have to tell me which one you're doing. Does it matter? I'm going to wait just a second for us to be ready. I think we're ready. Does it matter whether you separate or whether you combine the sentences? Yes. No. What do you think? Yes. No, it doesn't matter. Yes, yes. I'll give you guys 15 seconds in your groups to talk about whether yes. Yes. it matters. Yes. Talk about whether yes. it matters if you yes. separate or combine. Yes. 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 No. yes. yes. No. Make, make your sentences work. Talk about it in your groups. Go. Yes. 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 Why? 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 Hey, why? 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 Does it matter whether you use a semicolon, period? Oh, no. 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 <laughs> what does that mean? I'm so Separating or combining. Let's go back up to part one. If you look at part one, yesterday we had drawn some arrows. You're going to separate your sentences or you're going to combine, combine two sentences with a comma connector or a coordinating conjunction, okay? Does it matter which of these options you choose? No. No, it really doesn't, no. as long as you do it correctly. Exactly. So, let's look again at number three. That's great. Part three. So let's review again number one. I think we left off on number four. Yep. Did we leave off on number four? Yes. Uh, three. Number three. Okay, let's actually go back to number three then. That's correct. With extra time to study, John did better on the test than many of his classmates. Most of the students were not angry. Before we do anything, 
we have to decide, is there more than one sentence here? Yes. Yep. yep. Where would it be? Oh. Sabi. Uh, it ends in classmates. It ends in classmates. That's sentence one. Boom. That's sentence two. Now, we know there are two sentences here. Now we have to figure out what we do with them. We have three options. What could we do with these? Com combine. Combine them with a Com semicolon. semicolon. Or what? Semicolons. We could do a separation with a semicolon or a comma. 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 Transition word. Come on, transition word. You guys, when you say comma between two sentences, it makes me like. Jesus. Okay. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Whoa, we don't want to say that right now because that might offend somebody. So, we know right here we have two things. Where could we put, or what could we put in here? Semicolon. <laughs> what if I don't want to put that? Comma connector. connector. Period. Period. If you are not comfortable yet using comma connector, using semicolon, what's your fail safe always works? Period. 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 You do not have to do anything other than that right now. But something in me says, the more we do this, the more you're going to get tired of putting periods, and you're going to get used to saying, oh, maybe I'll try a semicolon this time. So let's do that for this one. Classmates, boom, semicolon. Okay? So let's look at the next one, number four. I'm going to have you guys do number four and number five. Four and number five on your own right now. When you think you've got it, let me know and I'll come to check. On number four and five, the first thing that we have to do is figure out if we have more than one sentence and where that sentence is divided, if, or where that, those two parts are divided, if there's more than one. So number four, one student felt this was unfair. He complained to the teacher. Ale, um, um, where do we have our division, or do we even have a division? After unfair. You are correct. So right here, right there, we have separation of sentences. What can we put in there? Sandy. Comma connector. Comma connector. Let's see. Let's do it nine. I think we have to go to choir. Yeah. Does the choir people have to leave right now? Yeah. Okay. If he said nine, let's stand. Let's stand up quickly. If you are a choir person. Ciao. Choir people, you're gonna have to watch this video later to see what we did. See what? Oh. Okay. If you're listening, put your right hand up. If you're listening, do this. Okay, we're ready to begin. Andrew, would you look at the Yeah. And choir people, would you go out the back door, please? We have to do this rearing sequence. Okay, hands up. So number four, one student felt this was unfair. Boom, he complained to the teacher. Santi, what did you say you wanted to put in there? An and. An and by itself? An and oh. by itself? Comma. Comma and. Okay. One connector. Comma connector. Comma and. Comma and. Okay? We have two sentences, one over here and one over here. It's got to be connected by one of our three ways. And. Can you just do and by itself, though? No. Comma, no. comma and. Comma connector. Okay? So let's look at number five. Oh, we didn't say which one it is. This was one student felt this was unfair, comma and he complained to the teacher. We're combining. Oh, we said thank you. <laughs> we are combining. Number five. This teacher had two options. She could ignore the complaint, or she could do something to remedy the situation. Nothing. Nothing. No. No. Yes, no. 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 Because it says each part below is not written correctly, so it's not written correctly. Ah, there might be a trick in here. Okay, Donna. The teacher had two options. You can add a oh. semicolon. What, why do you say this? Because the teacher had two options, so it's like comma and explaining the two options. Ah, so what if the teacher had two options? Is that a fragment or a sentence? Sentence. 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 So we have this right here. She could ignore the complaint... Is that a sentence on its own? Yes. No. She no. could yes, ignore yes, the yes. complaint. Because subject verb. Yeah, so before we have it. So she could ignore the complaint is another sentence. She could do something to remedy the situation. <coughs> is that a sentence? Yes. yes. How many sentences do we actually have here? Three. Now, let's look at these two right here. 
Do we have this sentence and this sentence correctly connected by something? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Comma connected. Oh, 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 comma yes, connected. Yes. Not just a fanboy, eh? It's comma fanboy. Okay, the comma connector. So we have comma or. Are these two correctly connected? Yes. 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 Where does the problem lie? There. Donna? The teacher had two options. The teacher had two options. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have three things that we can put in here. What are they? Should be colon, comma, connection, period. That's right, Mom. I tell you what, I am going to put a period in there. Here's why. If you have too many things connected, it's sometimes it's difficult for your, re your readers to understand. When you have all of these different tools to use, sometimes combining too many things together gets really heavy. Okay? Part four. So this one's asking us about commas places, which we talked about yesterday, and about run-ons. Don't ask this one? Yeah? Okay. So commas places. Let's talk about this. If we're looking at part, part four, and we're looking at commas places, yesterday we learned about sticking two sentences together with only a comma doesn't work for us. It's going to fall. It's not strong enough. Your readers are going to be confused. Run on sticking two sentences together with nothing. They just smash into each other. So let's look down here. It says identify each sentence below as either a comma splice or a run on. This is telling you that all of these should have something in them. What is your job to do as a student right now? To identify. Identify what? Run on. Comma, slice, or run on. Comma, slice, or run on. Okay, here we go. So number one, we'll do together. John didn't show up for his math test. He didn't notify the teacher. You've seen this sentence before. Run on. Run on. Okay. Number two, he had missed the test because his mother had been in a serious car accident. He also missed three days of class. Run on. Okay. Your job right now is to do the rest of this, check, this chunk. And then we'll check our answers in a moment. Begin. I'll come around and check you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for number five. Number five asks you three things. Part four was asking us two things. It was saying, is it a comma splice or is it a run-on? This is asking you a third one. Is it a comma splice or is it a run-on? But it also could be what? Correct. Correct. If it is not correct, what do you have to do? Correct the sentence. Correct the sentence or fix it. So your job right now is to work on one through ten. Whether it's this, this, or this, sorry, this, this, or this, and then if it is wrong, do the fixings to it appropriately. Begin. <laughs> 